Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to get, well how to install Civil War Overhaul for Skyrim. Now a lot of people don't really get it because while the instructions are a bit dodgy and he always puts all these links so a lot of people get confused and then Though it's going on about reading the description, I didn't read the description, so you don't really need to read it. Um, right. So the first things first is you wanna. Well, I I get I got all this stuff before I got the mod because sometimes like if you get too much, too many like mods and equipment for Skyrim at once. It'll just crash quite a bit, but uh, today we'll I'll show you how to get them. Now, if first things first, boss. So instead of boss, you want to actually get loot as loot is updated. Now, I'd say this is optional, but I recommend it because if you know how to use it, loot can really help you find out which mods are. The problem for crashing. Um, so we want to get the installer. Then let that open. Right, so loot's installed. Well, downloaded. Weird. Loot is already installed. Now we we'll just take you through a setup, and I don't, I can't be bothered to uninstall it. We'll just take you through a simple setup and there's no like advertisement stuff so you just install it really easily that way. Um Sky actually Sky you'd rather you should have this first. Now don't get the beta build. I'd recommend getting the current build because betas may have um problems. So you'd just get the installer, you'd open it, yes, then you'd then you just Direct it to your ste uh, where Skyrim is. Now I bought Skyrim via Steam, so it's in uh, Steam. Steam apps common and Skyrim. Most people don't already know that. Then you get this desktop shortcut Sky School. Then Sky is done, and if you look, oh that was you'll have a Sky thing here. I've already got mine. This is mine. I will put it right in the middle, right there. Yeah, it's a cool wallpaper. Um, but yeah, that's Sky Stun, so let's just close up that and close out loot. So, next, you most people will not have ever heard of these things SS, SSME EN Boost. I, I, was, I was stuck on EN Boost for a while before you get in this mod. Um, uh, EN Boost, so you scroll down. A bit till you see this, and then remember that. So just keep that in mind. So click that, and then go to news, download. Um, let me turn this one off. Um, never happens because I'm alone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then go yeah, test drive Skyrim. Um, get this one. Download. Right. Then yeah, that's what that was the right one. Because it's got 0 0.219, yeah, and 217. It's got 217, yeah. Um, then go to files, and get this file, and now you've got these two files. Right. This one is probably hardest one. Yeah, it's the hardest one. Um. Let's move all these to tutorial. So, just extract them. Well, you don't have to, of course, but I'm gonna because it's just nicer. You know, you've got these two nice files. <laughs> so then you can delete these. Well, delete these. Actually, we've got them, so delete them. So now we've got. Now you're just like, what the fuck? Because you, because it did have something in the description about a wrapper version, but you go to files and then there's uh, what's this wrapper version? 
Um, so basically, uh, you go into the wrapper version, then you just copy. I don't know. I'll have to get my scheme directly. Um, sorry about the jump cut. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. So you just copy all these files. You don't have to do. Actually, hang on. You need. Well, you don't need it, but I'm just gonna drag that one just in case. But you just need the main files, really. You drag and drop. Of course, I've already got these files, but you just click OK or something. Um. Then yeah, that's that file. So you don't really need to worry about this one. Just ignore that one. You can even delete it if you want. Then go to this file. Um, check what video card you have. Uh, I have AMD. Except I am getting it upgraded soon, so I don't know if I have to go into this one. But um, then check how much RAM you have by going into Run DX Diag, and then it'll show you there. It's really easy. You can just Google it. I had 4 GB real RAM. Then you just uh, copy, well, move this into Skyrim. You click OK, and that's that. That's the end boost done. It was quite difficult uh, compared to the others. Well, right. So yeah, you just move that, and yeah. Sorry about the random stop. I just sort of forgot what to say. Right, but that's the end boost done. So you can close both them. Um, next we'll do SSME. Uh, Sky UI actually no, because this one's quick. You just need to click download with manager and Sky UI. Oh, that's all you have to do. But that will need uh, Sky, so you need to get that one first. But if you want more detailed, I don't know, more detailed version, I'll always leave links in the description. The way more detailed things. But I'm trying to get through this quick. Download this top file manually on the SSME. It'll look like this. And uh, blah, 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 blah. no, that's my recordings folder. Um, common Skyrim, right? So then you can open this SSMA. Now I forgot how to install this one. I'm sure it was. Okay, yeah, that's easy. Um, so you just drag these in here. It's simple. That's it done for that one. Um, just open this. Yeah, that's it. You don't have to change anything there. Don't worry. I just <laughs> double checked. Um, that's that's actually that that one was that it's really easy. Um, so the next part is the unofficial. Uh, Skyrim patch download of manager launch application. I've already got it open, but I still need to launch it. So that'll just download here. Right, it has downloaded. Um, you'll need as many patches as you have. Um, DLCs. You'll also need, well, I don't, I don't know if you need a patch for the high res, uh, texture pack. But I'd, I'll get it. I'd get it anyway. I am. But um, yeah, that's that's the patches. Now, next thing is actually the mod itself. Now, it says yeah, you do need to start a new game for it to properly work. Um, so that does suck. But I just bought Skyrim anyway. Uh, well, we bought it. Uh, I'm on a new Steam account, and then the last video is on a different one. But yeah, um, basically you just go to files, download with manager. Oh, it's even got a nice, uh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> but yeah. um, yeah, it will then. That was quick. Um, I'm not gonna actually enable it till I have my other. Dongar patches, but I'll leave a link to everything. Um, it'll be shortened, so it won't be the full link, so less description room. Um, if you want more detailed videos on each single uh, requirement, I will leave a link to probably it'll probably be like Goffer or something, Goff Goffper or whatever his name is, who does loads of videos like this on A and Boost 
SSME, stuff like that. And uh, last but not least, I forgot about this. Um, I've just installed Civil War the whole, got all the patches. I've got Sky UI, got Sky Sky, everything all done. Now, if depending if you got loot or boss, um, I have both. So, so you're gonna have to well, um, oh, wait, hang on. there you go. Sorry about that. Just um, sort your loadout order with boss. So we're just gonna do that quickly. So you go to your uh, load order, go to loot or boss. Um, which other one you've got? I don't actually think I have boss. Um. Nah, I don't. Have, I don't actually have boss. No, that's a lot of files for unofficial uh, things. But yeah, there you go. Civil War before. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna use loot. So get loot. <laughs> don't get boss. Um, you click sort plugins. It take a while. But when it's done, it'll look like this. You do apply, and then it'll give you whatever. But I've got zero warnings because I cleared everything. You'll have about, depending on how many DLCs you'll have, you'll have one, two, three. But this isn't a video about that. However, just click on the screen right now, anywhere, I'll put the whole thing up, and it'll lead you to how you can get rid of the, those warnings using, um, yeah, that's it. Using, well, actually using this, Tez5 Edit. But that's, I'm going to link you to Goffer's video because I won't explain it as well with Sim. He explains it really well because he is a modder. But, yeah, then you'll have to start a new game. Okay, so, yeah, AN Boost's working. Uh, SME, well, it will be working because we installed it correctly. Um. So of course you will have to start a new game. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this tutorial helped. I, ho I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the tutorial helped. And yeah, enjoy Civil War before.